Hey, I'm Kyle, and this is the Vervet Forest Season 2 Baby Update Part 4. This is the final episode of this four-part series, and on today's episode, we try to catch up with Darcy over in Robert Troop, and then we go follow the elusive babies Nala and Kendall, and Leo and Freya of Engelkey Troop. Thank you to my patrons, especially Mac, Janet Franciscovich, Stephanie from Australia, Jim and Linda, and Chuck and Di. I found Darcy and Robert Troop. Uh, you can't probably see her in this video, but she is right there. That little blob. She's like cautiously coming closer and closer to me. Hopefully she keeps doing that because she's a little bit far away to get a good shot up right now. There she is. All right, let's switch cameras. So this is tough. <laughs> I don't know if you see that movement right in the middle. That's Darcy, right there. Yes, there you go. Get out of those trees. Let's see your face. Well, that's probably all we're gonna see of her face. <laughs> she is being so elusive, so sneaky. She is one tough monkey to film. I mean, she is like, still, she's staring at me and like jumping from branch to branch and then hiding and then staring at me. She is not trusting of me right now. She's probably not trusting of people in general. But uh, I think that's the best footage I'm gonna get of her just because she is being so erratic and elusive, it's tough. But she looks like she's doing good. I mean, she's hanging out with her mom. Um, looks like she's hanging out with Elsie. So that's awesome, because that's uh, who she went out into the troop with. So that's good news. But yeah, happy days for Darcy. I'm at Engle Key Troop right now. That's John's beautiful singing in the background. <laughs> Don't stop singing. Don't stop singing. <laughs> um, I'm looking for Nala and Kendall, and Leo, and Freya. <laughs> so Nala and Kendall went out into the troop together, and Leo and Freya went out into the troop together. And I just found Kendall real quick, um, but she's still like shy and skittish. And she was up in the trees and immediately was just like staring at me and following me and ran off. Um, Leo and Freya went out together and they still hang out all the time. Uh, Ed was showing me the other day around the troop, helping me to re-recognize the babies because I hadn't seen them in so long. And um, Ed pointed out that they were down below at the other side. So we'll probably head over there, hopefully find them down there. And then... Um, and Nala is really big. She's just like a chunk. She's always been a chunk. Like she's always just been a beast. Um, and she still is. Her tail is like the size of an adult vervet's tail. Uh, so we're going to find her as well. But it could be kind of tough. But yeah. Wish me luck, I guess. This little trio right here has passed by so many times. It's this adult male. And then these two juveniles that just keep following him everywhere. And of course, as I say that, and I'm filming, they stop following him because they get distracted by the food pile. It's a busy evening. There's a lot of movement tonight. Everybody's running around. Everybody's got things to do, places to be, monkeys to talk to. Here's Stick. He's always easy to recognize. He's doing great. So as expected, thankfully, uh, Leo and Freya are just up in the tree right here, right where they should be. So that's awesome. They're sticking around. So that'll check two babies off the list, which is great. You see them? No, it's blurry and stuff. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. 
There it is. I don't know which one that is, but I know there's two up there. So it looks like taking themselves out into the troop on their own has led to them being each other's brother, sister, mother, father, best of friends, protect each other in the tree that's always near a food pile and is hard to climb quickly. Smart babies. This is where they chill. sense why they're always hanging out on their own. They seem to be getting by just fine, like they're not getting beat up or attacked or anything, so it's good. Be curious to see who they play with. So he's not getting attacked. He's just really scared of that older male juvenile. He's just being chased. The older male's not really being aggressive. He's kind of just messing with them right now. I'm not actually sure if it's an older male or female. I'm assuming it's a juvenile male. Let's see if we can find out eventually who it is. Leo and Freya, we've got Nala's proving tough because she's hanging out with her mom and they are just constantly on the move um, and they like hanging out in the middle so I just get glimpses of her and then by the time I get my camera set up she's disappeared and then uh, Kendall <laughs> Kendall oh man that's gonna be a special one so we'll see there's a Nala back here right there in the tree All right, here's Nala and her mom. I don't know who her mom is, but that's Nala being a boss, running around. Oh, she's gonna make me chase her. There goes Nala. That's who I needed. She walked right by me while I was changing things up. Dude, this baby monkey will not stop moving. Nala is so determined. Her face is just like, so intense. <laughs> Everywhere she's going, she's just like, oh, I'm on the prowl right now. She's <laughs> making it so hard to film her. Because by the time I put the tripod down and like get the shot oriented, she's gone. And I haven't even seen Kendall since I got here. Okay, this is actually Nala. Right here. Oh gosh, come on. Oh, she's making this tough. There she is. She is just in such high intensity mode right now, prowling with her mom. So I keep walking around in circles, trying to find Nala and Kendall, but they also are going around in circles and they keep changing directions. So it's like, I don't know, <laughs> it's horrible, I just can't find, I'm just gonna sit here now, I'm just gonna post up and just wait and see if I can find them.
Alright, here they come. This is seriously the best I'm getting. Every time. It's like this. Running by. <sighs> of course I don't get the focus. Turn around. Nope. Too busy. The sun's gonna set soon. Probably like 20 minutes. It'll be down behind the mountains. Uh, everyone's up in this tree. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Kendall. I saw her once, right when I arrived. I'm gonna have to come back, uh, for sure. I wanna get better footage of Nala, and I definitely wanna get some footage of Kendall. Uh, so I'll have to come back by, and I still, like, I, I still gotta go by Robert Troop as well at some point. I was hoping that I could get these guys done fast and then go down to Robert, but that's not gonna happen. So I think I might come back tomorrow morning, uh, and give that a try to look for uh, Nala and Kendall, because sometimes the monkeys hang out by the fence more in the morning. Um, we'll see. So I think that's Nala on the right. So Ed told me that she's been adopted by, um, like, Pickle and Whisper, who are both, like, one and two in rank. I believe Whisper's in charge and then Pickle's second in command, but I might have that completely wrong. 50-50 chance, right? But anyway, that's why she looks like she's on the prowl and she's like just in such high intensity mode. Look at that right there, their heads turning and stuff. She's learning to be an alpha. She's totally been adopted by the alphas and just learning to be an alpha baby. It's pretty interesting. The difference between her and uh, Leo and Freya is really interesting as well. But I mean, Nala was always like that. Like she was always just this tough monkey who didn't really care and she'd get beat up and She'd chase people around and stuff, so, you know, it's interesting. Personalities make a big difference. I'm back at Anglekey. I decided to come down in the morning this time to see if it made a difference. Um, I think I see Nala already, which is great news. So I'll switch over to the other camera and see if I can film her. But she's already running away through the trees, <laughs> so we'll find out. But Kendall, that's going to be a struggle. We'll see. So I'm pretty sure this is Kendall, because she's not hanging out with anyone. I found her at the top first, and she just like lost her mind, is screaming at me from a distance, ran up into the trees, ran all the way to the other side of the enclosure. She's not interacting with many of the monkeys, so that kind of fits the bill. Um, I don't think it's Nala. Cause she's pretty big like Nala, but she's not the same size. And I think her face is pinker than Nala's. Um, I'm pretty sure this is Kendall. I don't think Nala would have as dirty of a bum either. Oh, I think that's Nala anyway, right here. Yeah, that's Nala. Okay, so here's Nala. Chunky tail on the prowl. This is literally a monkey pulling the food out of another monkey's cheek pouches and eating it straight out of their mouth. Jesus. This is ridiculous. monkey is pulling the other monkey's cheek pouch open and eating the food straight out of the other's cheek pouch. This is Freya in the front and Leo walking up. <laughs> Hello, Leo. <laughs> hey, 
Hey buddy boy. Hello Freya. I'm giving up on Nala. Not giving up, I mean I've got some footage of Nala, but I feel like that's as much as I'm gonna get, so. That's that. I'm now headed down back to Robert Troop. Um, see? Robert. Yay. Exciting. Uh, so I'm at Robert Troop, and I'm gonna see if I have any luck with Darcy, but I really doubt it. I really doubt I'm gonna get a decent shot of Darcy. We'll see. There she is. The all elusive Darcy hanging out with her mom. So she's right in the center of the enclosure right now. She just doesn't want to be found. I really don't think I'm even gonna get lucky if I find her in the evening. I found her. I mean, you can see that I found her, but she uh she just wants us to hang out in the middle. She doesn't want to be filmed. She doesn't want to come near the edges. So we'll see if maybe around main feed I can sneak up and film her, but it's feeling like she's just going to stay away from me, kind of like Kendall, kind of like Nala. Um, so yeah, might just that might, that, that might just be all of the footage of Darcy that we see. Um, but she seems to be doing good. She's still hanging out with Chippy and Elsie, so that's good. Um, yeah, don't know what else to say about her, other than I kind of hate her, because she's making my life hard. But I don't really hate her, because I would be rude. I'm sure I'd be nice to her if I saw her in public and, like, we had to make small talk. I'm sure it would be fine. But until that point, she's got a, she's got a line through her name in my, my phone book, that's for sure. I ain't inviting her to my dinner parties no more. Uh, she's gonna sit on the fringes and eat all the celery.